is Holly Hubbard and I am a local art teacher. I teach over at the Kennebec Montessori School in Fairfield and this is my son Oliver um, and today we're gonna go through the newest art kits for all kit and we'll show you what's inside and we'll show you how to put it together. Um, this week we're gonna be making your own Mason Bee Hotels. So we'll try to give you some facts about bees in there and this is kind of an art project, but a sciency project too. Um, and we'll be making something very creative that's also functional. So let's see what's in there, Oliver. Mm, like some construction see. paper. So you'll see the construction paper. Um, yeah. Also in the kit, we've got some directions. Lisa Wheeler makes some amazing directions with pictures. So you can watch this video, but you can also read the directions too. What else is in there? Um, this can thing. We've got a can. This is going to be the B Hotel. You want to open it up? And inside you'll find two bamboo sticks. You'll find a magnet. There's a lot of cool stuff in this. Um, You'll find some acrylic paint. There should be two different colors in there. Got some and you'll yarn green. also find some yarn. Um, so you'll be able to hang up your bee hotel. The other thing that has been going in these kits is a postcard. It's already stamped. And these are really great if you want to write a note to Common Street Arts. Um, how you're liking the kit or what you're doing with them or say hello to Serena. Um, or if you have a loved one or a friend you wanna send a special note to, these are for you to do what you want. So make your picture on this side and write your address on this side. So that's kind of a fun thing. All right, shall we get started on making some art? Yeah. All right, so we've got some works in progress here. Um, Harper and his friend Roa are making one of their bee hotels and they're using acrylic paints. They're putting a layer on and they can let it dry and make another layer if they want. Um, tell me about your color choices. Well, um, so basically we're choosing sort of a spiky stripe uh, like red orange yellow bright colors like that pattern along the sides because bees are really attracted to color patterns and colors and things like that because they look a lot like flowers um so these mason bees are are a type of native bee um that they are super pollinators they do a really good job pollinating um, especially main plants if you think about blueberries they are a perfect thing to have near a garden or a flower bed um, are there any other cool facts about the mason bees we can share um, they only live for about one year and they're only active for like four to six weeks Okay. Another step in this process is to roll up tiny tubes where the bees will lay their eggs. And you can see Harper's making some more tubes. He rolls the paper around the bamboo, slides the bamboo out, tapes it, and it's ready for going into the tin. All right, so we are progressing with the bee hotels. You can see um, Oliver's got some tubes in here and he has taken his acrylic paints and painted his can blue. So he's got one coat on there. And then do you have some more plans, Oliver, for that? Mm -hmm. well, like so you might do some drawing and writing maybe with a Sharpie and then use some of your other colors. What's the job of bees? When you think of bees, how, why are they helpful or they important? Make, uh, pollinate and they make honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So these mason bees, the ones we're making homes for, are super pollinators. Um, they are 
amazing to have near your flower garden, near a vegetable garden, by your blueberry bushes. Um, so providing a home for them will help out your gardening and things. Um, what about how far can these mason bees go? About 100 yards from their house. So they don't travel very far. Would you say that's like a football field? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they stay within the distance of a football field, which is another good reason to keep them close to your garden or your home. So this is kind of fun. It's, um, you can be very creative with your hotel, but it's also functional and it's very helpful. I would actually encourage you to do a little bit of your own Mason Bee research. What other facts are out there? One thing we found very interesting was that the mason bees are quite gentle. They're a great type of bee to have around your home because the males do not have stingers and the females rarely sting only if they're pinched or squeezed. So you can make your project but maybe learn a little bit about them too. And maybe you could even write down any observations if you have any bees visit and turn this hotel into a nest and lay their eggs. We would love to see what you're doing. If you want to upload pictures, just tag Art at Home. The last step of the bee hotel is to use the yarn to make two loops, you can tie off and you can cut and make another loop and tie it and cut. And then you're gonna connect those with a loop. Basically, you're looking for a way to hang it. And then we're gonna hang it in a tree. And you wanna think about a spot that's not gonna blow around and be too windy, so maybe it's kind of up against part of the house or it's in a place where it's fairly stable and if you face it south or southeast it'll collect the warming sun which will help the bees stay warm and you want it to face a little downward so it doesn't collect with rain all right so over here what we're going to be what we're going to do is use the cap to make a lid magnet so you take the cap and you trace around it on another piece of paper and then in that you can be creative and make something bee related whether it's um, bees help gardens grow or just what bees mean to you you can draw you can color and cut it out and then glue it inside the cap and then you can stick the magnet on the back and you can pin it to your fridge or something like that. So we'll show you what that looks like. In a... right, so you put some glue inside the cap and then press down your piece of art and voila! Fridge magnet! G-R-A-T-E? Is a special way to use every part of this. So. Yeah. So the kids are taking their bee house and finding a good spot for it. It's facing south and they're tilting it down, tilted a little down so that the rainwater doesn't fill in it and that it shouldn't blow too, too much in the wind. So we'll have to check on it. And we put it near some flowers so the bees might be attracted to the flowers and find their new home. Art Kits for All is a partnership project designed to offer free creative fun for people of all ages in our local community.